go into that. Okay. Oh, okay. Back in Psalm 10, verse 9. Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. Man. It says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to swift, mm. nor to battle to strong. Nor to battle to the strong. The race is not to the swift. You know, like if people that are supposed to win in this world, it's like you lose like a little, like it would seem, right? But niggas being demons and assholes, they winning. I just do a raw hair, my love this clown. He, he wanted a small hat. He ain't got that alphabet character. Right. You know, yeah, he, everybody loves him, but he's a demon. He's a diabolical demon. Uh, make him up. Hey, that nigga say, just real quick, 
He said, at 21, I realized I was gay. With our technology, I could have found out at 13. Okay. Now you oh. out. So pretty much he said, if Satan came to me early, I would have found out early. Right. Because really, oh, it's been wicked fast. And you know what's crazy? Yeah. Wicked fast. You know, like, now you can use the internet for good, right? Now. What? You the <laughs> electronics for good, right? Because we had the Urim and the Thurman in the ancient world. We commune with the Heavenly Father. We had to, we had to meet uh, uh, the breastplate, the stones on it communicate with the Lord, the ephod, there you go, to, to communicate with the Lord, but this dude is using that to, to be a devil and a demon, and to take control, so it goes to show you the sources, <laughs> yep. you look at that uh, that cartoon Gargoyles, right, when they was uh, transferred to the future, when they seen like computers and shit, they like, what sorcery is this? Right, right. That's sorcery, this dude is a goddamn demon, man. Man, that's his network, it's a damn sorcery, he got, he putting you in a spell with his media, he, Trapping your ass and he gonna chip you ultimately. Karabi. Go ahead, huh? Verse on um, Ecclesiastes 9 and 11 again. It says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to swift, nor to the battle, nor to nor to the battle to nor to battle. Nor to battle the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to riches to men of understanding nor yet favor to men of skill. Because it's not that time. This, is, this world was created for many, but the world should come for few. to me. Mm. Verse 14 says, there was a little city and few men within it. Hey, there was a great city. Hey, aren't, aren't few men within this city? Yep. Few men that really believe in your house, are in this city. And, it, and what's the great city? Babylon the great. There's few <laughs> men, few, hey, a few good men in this city. Yep. Now the brother's going to read it in Ecclesiastes. Go ahead, huh? Verse 14, nine, uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 14, it says, there was a little city and a few men within it, and, th and there came a great king against it. Now, who is the great king that's going to come against this uh, this land, against this world? The high bank of the least, that said it's king. Don't oh, nobody know they rule. They, they in the cut. They, they, in, they in the dark. They on that dark city. They're not even in this country. They ain't even here. <laughs> but 
Yeah, it said that they stalked the king. The, the Chaldeans were the, uh, the ancient magi and the sorcerers of the ancient, uh, ancient Babylon. They, they pushed out, yeah, the warlock. They pushed out uh, uh, worship of Babylon. Uh, the kings that were set on Babylon, Babylon was going to uh, uh, do, do their history. It all came from the Chaldeans. So these devils know the true history. They like those that know the past. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, 
What sign showest thou unto us, sin, that thou doest these things? Now, uh, this is right after y'all was shot, threw over the tables of the money table. Get this shit out of here. Like, he's pissed off, man. Fucking mad, like, get the fuck out of here. Let all the shit. And, you know, pick up the movement, flying. He was getting jazzy chest. Oh, wow. Like, hitting the ground, running. <laughs> right, he had that cord, like, uh, wow, he was whooping the hell out of the ground. He was getting the ass whooped. <laughs> 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 Hey, versus with John, man. Hey, like, oh. like y'all was on that movie, uh, on that movie, uh, uh Immortals and shit. He's like, the one dude hit the dude, dude, like this. He's like, who's who going to do still like this? Flying and shit. Just, that's all he was seeing. Dude was like, slow up. Flying back and shit, just juicing air, you know? So you can, you can just imagine, man. Y'all was like, wow, wow, what the fuck? Damn. Damn. <laughs> he, 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 he made it. Oh, he it. Yeah, he braided it up, huh? Forget Cat and nine tails. Yeah. That's it. Go ahead, huh? Yeah, how we shot answered and said unto them, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Whoa! Three days represent his body. Now even the tool of three days, he's risen again. That represents the church. It represents each brother is a lively stone being placed in the how we shot with you cornerstone of this new temple. That's right. And it's a spiritual temple. It cannot be breached. It cannot be sapped. But yet this devil, uh, through Harari and shit, is trying to hack, trying to get into that temple. He's trying to set up the abominations. You know, he's going to put an abomination to put it against our laws and there's no cut in the Yet, people are going here to the sea. Go ahead, I'm fine. Then said the Jews, Forty and sixty years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? Hey, Lord, rear, hey, he rose in three days, right? And he reared his people up in the third day when we can revive and live again in his sight. You know, because the Lord rose up Elijah, the prophet, Abba, in, in the second day. If you can get that in, uh, where is that at? Hosea 6? Go ahead, huh? But, but he spake of the temple of his body. He spake of the temple of his body. Now, Yahushai is the head of the body. Who's the body of Yahushai? The true believer. Right? We're that temple now. That's why we've been sending up spiritual sacrifices to the Lord. Go ahead up. And he is our high priest of heaven. Right? Go ahead up. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto him. Hey, or unto them. Hey, once he was risen from the dead, then his disciples remembered, like, hold up. Y'all oh, said that, oh, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, hold up. Hold up. wait a minute. <laughs> right. And they believed the scripture and the word which Yahweh Shai had said. And they believed the scripture and the word which Yahweh said. Only the elect gonna believe everything that's written because the sheep hear his voice is not another. We hear the voice this is the book of Hosea, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it reads, Come and let us return unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. How are we returning unto him? Through Hamashiach, through our Lord, our Savior, the doorway back to the Father, the middleman between us and our power. He has broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Right. And the Prince of Peace. Go ahead, huh? For he has torn. And he will heal us. Hey, the Lord beat the hell up out of us. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, we deserve this shit. Hey, uh, you know, Jake talking that, that mess. Hey, the Lord gonna put them hands on you, Jack. That's right. Papa don't take no mess. Why are you in America? Why are you scattered among these nations? Why are you going to your enemy for the one of all things? Because the Lord has delivered you into the hands of your enemy? That's right. But he's telling you to return. Only the elect will return. They will no longer stay upon him that smote them. They shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Go ahead, huh? He has smitten, and he will bind us up. Hey, Lord, wow, like, he had to kill us. We died, and we were born again. So we were, we were dead in trespasses and sins for a time until the spirit of Hamashiach quickened on the flesh. Go ahead, huh? After two days, will he revive us? Now, two days. One day to the Lord's time, so two days. And that was the last century. So, you know, when Alvin rose up, he said he's going to revive us in two days, right? No, no. He's going to 
survival. So that, that's when we start riding up. Hold up. Oh, hold up. And then the third day, we're in the third day now. Right. A new century, so to speak. A new millennium. There you go. In the third day, he will raise us up. In this new millennium, he's raising us up. Oh, that's why both y'all love. They, just, they popping up every place. The Lord's going to raise us up. As that exceeding great army, valley of dry bones, which that valley is America, Babylon, and our people rising. They were bones, and then they got the sinews and the skin and the muscles put on them, and they had the breath put in them. And that's a very scary thing to our enemies. That's right. We stand in an exceeding great army. And we shall live in his sight. And we're going to live in his sight. Because it said, you know, Adam was moving around, but it said, once the Lord breathed the breath of life into him, he became a living soul before the Lord. So we live before the Lord. That's right. His son. That's, that's what Temple Yahweh Shah was talking about. He's going to raise up in three days. Like, yeah, that's spirit. Hey, let the glass eat up. Let yeah, the glass for real. Let it drop. 